good morning, afternoon, or wherever it is you are. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the art of blogging and just some tips that I really wish some people had told me when I started all those years ago. Um, it's just some stuff I've picked up along the way and I have five rules for you. But don't worry, you don't have to stick to them. Um, one thing I want to say is, although anyone can have a blog, it's really hard to maintain a popular blog. Um, I do know people out there that use them for a journaling and therapy and that's amazing that's a really really good way to use blogging um but if you're looking for a, a blog that you want you know want people to read and enjoy and it's not personal i just think there are certain rules you need to stick by um and you also need to know what kind of things that people like to read about so for instance i have three main blogs blogs at the minute um because they're all aimed at different markets so for instance my first blog is very professional because it's for my writing and my poetry whereas my secondary blog is a commentary blog and you know it's, it's more fun there's, there's more of a rhythm to it I write interesting things like I did an online dating series for example or I bitch about the weather or you know or Twitter or social media or my books or whatever's going on you know it's more of a process blog whereas my third one is actually under my pen name Melody Carter because it's a children's fiction and poetry blog so you know um whereas if I put all that stuff in one it gets really confusing really fast because people don't know where to look for certain things and then you have an overabundance of posting and my hair's in my way um whereas if you separate them all okay it's a little bit hard to maintain but at least people know where to look um tea break hang on it's really cold today and I don't know why. Not my day in the weather. It's nearly the end of July and I'm wearing socks and leggings. And I was wearing a cardigan literally five minutes ago. It's just... I don't get it. Anyway, so I've got five rules um, that I follow as much as I can. Obviously, you know, it's not a dictatorship blogging. It's a very creative space and people do have their own ways of doing things these are just five rules that i think can really help so rule one is knowing your audience so sorry i've got notes um so there's nothing worse than going on to what you think is a really serious blog and then finding that they um they follow you back and they just spam with like cat videos and stupid jokes and weird links on youtube like that's just not what you want um so when you are making a blog make sure you make it very clear the kinds of things that you're going to be posting and make sure that your audience know what they can get from your blog uh, rule two is make sure it's age appropriate because there is nothing worse than going onto a blog um, that you think will be suitable for say children and then there's like adverts around it to do with porn and uh, weight loss and stuff not that WordPress actually does that to any blogs which is great but you know if you go onto any kind of blog and you see that stuff it's really really inappropriate and then parents won't visit your website again um, so for example my, my children's blog Melody Carter is very clean, it's very pretty, it's very simple, the language is simple there's a lot of white space you know I don't over clutter it and I don't post very often because um, I'm not quite on onto that part of my writing yet but um, it's, I just make sure it's it's not overwhelming because my hair won't stay ugh. my um you don't want people being overloaded especially when it's children's writing um whereas if you look at my other blogs you know they're aimed at sort of 16 plus you know adults uh, other writers other bloggers so and you know the friends that I make with my blog um so you know they're they're a little bit more the language is more complicated they're slightly more cluttered and like my secondary blog's really colourful and stuff like that um yeah and I, uh, I also because you know because of the age uh, there's a cash occasionally um, asterisk swear words or links to vloggers that might swear or links to blogs that might have swearing in the more inappropriate content for children blah 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 so you know you just you've got to make sure that you 
if you occasionally post for children on your particular blog that you say this post isn't um, appropriate for this age or whatever. Uh, okay, so rule three is don't be repetitive like I'm being in this video um, because especially if you have a blog that you've maintained for a while you might stop getting you might stop noticing that when you blog at certain times during the year you're basically rewriting a blog post you did the year before so like um, I recently read a post about springtime but then on looking on that person's blog they basically wrote the same thing the year before um, so unless you're going oh well I, okay I wrote this last year and then link it um, it doesn't really work for you because you're basically just repeating yourself um, so try and change it up a bit or maybe just don't write seasonal posting uh, so rule 4 is design design is so important with a blog uh, like I said before my Melody Carter, Carter blog the children's book is really clean and simple because you just can't overload children with that sort of thing um, my professional blog is obviously very clean and professional and you know lots of straight lines and there's not bright colours everywhere it's very calm whereas my secondary blog is very colourful there's a lot going on bold fonting italics you know little in joke links everywhere it's a very it's cluttered but still professional and it suits the style that I write with um, it's designed so important because people will click on your blog and if they see the theme you've chosen they will assume that you're writing about certain things or you're a certain style of writer so you need to be careful when choosing um, a theme that you make sure it's appropriate uh, and rule five, five is scheduling scheduling is so so important um, like in, on one hand I've seen so many blogs so for instance they'll be like oh um, part two to follow and then you don't see it for a month and you're like well I was, I was really into that and then you just stopped um, or the worst is when they don't do part two and you're just like where'd it go um, another really really important thing about scheduling is for instance if your uh, target audience for a particular blog is people that are going to be at work during the day there is absolutely no point posting in the middle of the day because they're not going to read it and people don't go on blogs and um, search for content you know they wait for it to appear on social media so equally if uh, for instance you're aiming at children or people that are going to be you know going to bed early or school or whatever um, or parents there's no point posting after eight o'clock you know, if you're writing this nice little story about a duck and living in a pond or whatever, um, if it's aimed at kids under, like, seven, if you post it at eight o'clock, they're going to be in bed asleep, you know. There's just no point. And then they're not going to have time in the morning to read it. You need to be posting in that after-school space where you know they're going to see it. Um, <clears throat> okay, so that's my five rules. And my tea. Mm my animal cup from the Disney store because I am a child on the inside um, but basically what I'm trying to say is yeah okay there is an art to blogging but there is a lot to learn as well you know I'm still learning and I've been doing this for two nearly three years and I'm maintaining you know I help people with their own blogs I write my own um, I blog on things like Readwave as well I also run a website called Her Campus the, it's the um, CCCU page which I'll link under here somewhere um, but you know you really have to maintain and keep focus keep your scheduling going and just know what you're posting because I think the best advice I can give anyone when blogging is you need to enjoy it <clears throat> because if you don't enjoy yourself then there's no point you're not passionate about it and you won't care anymore so just keep happy and keep posting the things that you love and have a blog that you love I know that every single time I go on my blogs I love how they look and I really really enjoy posting and um, so yeah you just just keep happy with it which is kind of a theme with all of my videos is keeping happy and doing things that you love um, I'm gonna now ugh, cough apparently <coughs> I'm gonna go and write more scripts uh, me and my friend Alex 
I will link to her two channels down below. We're filming some video response blogs because I'm currently in Canterbury and she's currently in Wales for the summer uh, working. So we're gonna we're gonna do like a Taylor Two City sort of thing. Um, so that should be interesting. And then I've got a couple of more videos that I've scripted that I want to film. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna finish my very very hot cup of tea. And uh, I'll see you later, guys. Bye.